My name is Dr. Louisa and you're welcome to this week's edition of Toothy Tuesdays. This week we're going to be discussing bleeding gums. Now bleeding gums even though quite unfortunately is very common with a lot of people, it is not normal. It is never normal for your gums to bleed when you brush your teeth. If your skin was to bleed every time you took a shower, you'd be pretty alarmed. And that's how alarmed you should be when your gums bleed every time you brush your teeth. So in this session, we're going to discuss some of the causes of bleeding gums and then what to do if you have bleeding gums. Now the first cause of bleeding gums is gingivitis, which also means swelling of the gums. This happens when there's plaque buildup on your teeth. Now plaque is that whitish sticky substance that you feel on your teeth when you haven't brushed your teeth in a while. For example, when you wake up in the morning and then you pass your tongue around your gums, you feel like there's this white sticky substance on your gums. That's plaque. Now plaque is made up of so many things including bacteria and this irritates your gums. So your body has to respond to this irritation and the way your body responds is by by making your gums swell. Now when your gums are swollen, it bleeds on the slightest touch. So whenever you brush your teeth, you find that your gums would bleed. Now, if this plaque is left undisturbed for a long period of time, for example, um, you don't brush your teeth well, or you don't brush your teeth at all, or you don't floss in between your teeth, this plaque now hardens over time and it forms what we call calculus or tartar. Now, when you develop tartar or calculus, you can't get rid of it with a toothbrush. Now, this is that yellowish stuff that you see on some people's teeth when they're talking to you sometimes. It's very unpleasant. Now, this calculus not only causes damage to your gums, but to other supporting structures around your teeth, such as um, the bone and other structures. And this leads to something that we call periodontitis. Now, periodontitis is another cause of bleeding gums. There are other symptoms of periodontitis such as bad breath, gum boils, or your teeth becoming loose over time and then eventually falling off. Now a third cause of bleeding gums is using a wrong type of toothbrush, which is the hard bristle toothbrush or using a worn out toothbrush. That does nothing for you, it just damages your gums and causes your gums to bleed every time you brush. Which is why in our last session on toothbrushing techniques, we discussed and said that you have to change your toothbrush every three to four months, and then you have to go in for a soft or a medium bristle toothbrush as opposed to the hard bristle toothbrush. Now another cause of bleeding gums is some medications. Um, there are some antihypertensive drugs that are given to people with high blood pressure. Drugs like these, could cause bleeding gums. There are some antidepressants that could cause bleeding gums, blood thinness, and so on. So if you fall within this bracket of patients who are under medications that cause their gums to bleed, you don't just stop using the drugs abruptly. You have to consult the doctor that prescribed them for you. Let them know that this is a side effect that you're facing using the drugs and it will be changed for you. Now another cause of bleeding gums is systemic diseases. There are some diseases that could cause your gums to bleed, such as leukemia, some cancers, um, some bleeding disorders. So, which is why it's important to see your dentist so that the exact cause will be determined. So now, what do you do if you realize that you have bleeding gums? As I always say, visit your dentist. Never underestimate the importance of visiting your dentist because when you go to visit your dentist, the exact cause of your bleeding gums will be determined and a treatment plan will be formulated just for you. There's no treatment plan that is suitable for just everyone. So it's important to see your dentist. Now after that dentist appointment, you're gonna go back home. And home care is another very important thing to do. Now toothbrushing techniques and flossing go hand in hand for proper oral health care. So you should brush your teeth twice a day using the right type of toothbrush. Floss twice a day in order to get the plaque deposits in between your teeth off. 
Now there are some DIY methods that are available such as warm salt rinses, rinsing your mouth with hydrogen peroxide, applying salt and baking soda. These would help reduce the bleeding of the gums, but they may not get rid of the underlying condition causing the gums to bleed. That's why it's very important for you to visit your dentist. Thank you and let me know if you have any questions or comments and I'll be glad to respond to them. Bye.